Okay, so one of my favorite gear purchases in the past year has been the Zoom M3 mic track. In my opinion, it is one of the most innovative and versatile pieces of equipment that you could invest in for your content creation, being both a 32-bit floating point recorder and having a built-in shotgun microphone and allowing you to record both in mono and uh, stereo field. And in fact, all of the audio you hear in this video will be recorded using my Zoom M3 mic track. And while I really don't like saying anything negative about products that I love, there has always been one sticking point for me when it comes to the M3 mic track. But fortunately, I have found a solution that I wanna share with you because I think if you are a uh, Zoom M3 owner, you will be super excited to start using this in your production workflow. So the one thing that I don't like about the M3 is its shock mount. And this seems to be the standard shock mount that Zoom has designed for their shotgun microphones. It comes with the M3, it comes with the ZSG-1. And while it looks pretty standard and is super cool that it has the Zoom logo on the side, it just isn't functional for the M3, especially when you need to change your batteries. The way the M3 sits in the shock mount, there's no way that you can undo the battery door, remove the batteries, and easily replace them without having to take the microphone out of the shock mount over and over and over again. And the design is totally fine for the ZSG-1, right? Because that's a microphone that, you don't, that doesn't require batteries that you don't necessarily need to consistently take out of the shock mount. And so for me, there is one small rig accessory that I think is a must have for every Zoom M3 mic track owner. And that's this, the small rig cold shoe shock mount. Now, what's really great about this shock mount is that it fits a variety of different shotgun style microphones that vary in diameter. And the Zoom shotguns are a little larger than most, but what I really love is that you can slide your microphone in right up to the battery compartment, the clamp doesn't obstruct anything on the side of the microphone, and you can easily access the battery compartment while it's still in the shock mount. Oh, and this is how effective the shock mount is. I have my M3 mounted on it into a triple cold shoe adapter on my Manfrotto Pixie on this stool. So let's see. Tapping the stool, tapping the tripod, tapping the cold shoe adapter. So I've had this small rig shock mount for a, a while now, but I haven't made a video about it because to be frank, it's on the pricier side. I bought it for 50 US dollars, but I wanted to make this video today because as of right now, the price has gone down by 20%. And so if it's something that you're looking to buy, now is like the best time to do it because you're saving a bunch of money on a relatively expensive accessory that may seem superfluous, but really it improves the quality of life and usage of the M3 like 100%. And while I'd like my M3 to live in the shock mount, um, I do actually use it for other applications as well. And so uh, specifically, I use the shock mount with the Movo Double Mic UC, when I attach that microphone to my DJI action cameras. I find the shock mount particularly effective with the double mic because it can center the placement of the microphone in the shock mount while having the USB-C plug extending out the top. And then with a right angle adapter and the short USB extension cables. Yeah, this is probably the slickest cabling job I have for any microphone for my action three or action four. That's right, I'm talking about you. So while I do love this small rig shock mount, there is one drawback that you should be aware of before you run out and buy it. And that is on the bottom. Lots of times in addition to being able to insert these shock mounts into a cold shoe, a lot of them also include a quarter 20 thread in the middle. But unfortunately due to the construction of this particular shock mount, uh, that option isn't available. Is it a deal breaker? I don't know, maybe for some. So if this shock mount is something that you need, I'll drop a link down in the description below. So hopefully you can go through that and find that 20% discount. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll talk again real soon.